Hi guys, if you want to make private charts using private tables, then you should watch this video. Uh, so let's start. This is our data. You can see product, seller name, month, and sales. Uh, we are going to make uh, a private chart. It is in op its option in uh, insert, and you can find that private charts option, and then click OK. There is a data. You can see this is the chart one. Uh, in the right uh, right side, you can see uh, there are some options: filter, legend series, axis, and values. You should try your uh, addings to move between that uh, area. You can move the um like that. So I'm going to make my bar chart. This look like this one look like understandable but uh, i will teach you how to make a, a chart using pivot table so so let's go to make pivot table first there it is so we are going to make pivot table this is a simple way to make pivot table okay so go to analyze insert pivot chart like using that this is the chart options you can direct see line charts and pie bar, bar chart pie chart all kind of charts are related to your pivot table data and i'm going to use that bar chart so first we have to add a, a seller name slicer using right click and slicer option so and uh, we are going to make uh, some of sales uh, here and seller names also in rows to make more understandable uh, bar chart so there it is if you if we click on slicer like sandeep mm, seller name on sandeep james or other persons uh, the a uh, pivot uh, table and the chart will move okay so there are some more options on right side if you click on the uh, chart you can see there are more options uh, to uh, make uh, your chart more uh, attractive you can see that options for filling automatic pattern picture gradient fill solid fill okay and borders for making your border power or oh, sorry uh, your charts uh, 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 borders will uh, glow and solid lines okay and there are more options you can see shadows you can change the shadows of your charts like you can see that what will happen if i click on that i can change the color of the shadow also okay uh, i can uh, we can change also the uh, uh, charts outside a outside uh, shadows and close also there's the glow option you can change the colors also okay and also the soft edges for the cor round corners of that uh, charts you can make round corners of that chart you can see that corners are pointed okay so and there are 3d format options also available you can see it will uh, make your chart more attractive more 3d look you can make using them uh, and there are some more options you can see if you use that degree 3d rotations you can if you click them then your bars will move in 3d okay you can see that or if you want to make your chart little bigger so you should just click the chart and click on that pointed little points and hold and move that which 
uh, how much you want to uh, stretch your chart okay so or you, so there is also a option of l text this will show you the descriptions of your chart okay they like we can type our chart sheet uh, don't uh, now i will type your private chart something anything you can type for remember what is that for okay so now we will make uh, uh, multiple charts okay so go to in first you have to click on private table then you will see analyze option there is private chart options and they are uh, as i said before you can see the charts option i sh I, I choose i choose to that uh, uh, liner chart and you can change the colors designs from that area chart area you can see on the upper side of excel okay there it is okay so now uh, we will add more uh, charts and pie bar charts okay so let's make up oh or you can change the color from there okay quick layouts are there for more attractive charts and there are some more options you can see for charts field settings for change the counts or sums of the area okay so I'm going to insert pie chart as I said or we can change from there I'm going to insert that okay same process as as before I said okay there it is just simple as that so as uh, so we can make multiple type of charts using that area you can see that just you need a pivot table so this is the difference between pivot table and charts if you use directly pivot charts you uh, you will not understand clearly what is happening with your data there it is simply understood Standable to so uh, we should make that to more on this table first. Uh, uh, you can see if I click on filter, if I uh, filter using slicer, that uh, all charts will filtered now. Filtered okay. Field list if I check field list, there is the data, or if we can just add it so that's all this is the pivot table using slicer and charts thanks for watching please comment if you have any questions regarding that video